Um, so I decided to switch up the angle a little bit. So I whipped out my tripod and I like brought it up a little bit. Before when I filmed, I used to balance my camera on my windowsill. I don't know. I just, I just felt like I should use a tripod today. So I'm doing it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like it better. I don't know if I like it better yet, but um, we're just giving it a little try. Anyway, I have a very special announcement to make. If you've been watching my videos for the past few weeks, I don't really know if anyone's noticed because no one's like actually pointed it out to me, but um, your girl has ads running on our videos now, which means that I am able to monetize my videos, which woo is a pretty big deal. I didn't think that I could monetize my videos because if you didn't know, I can make a separate video about how monetization works on YouTube, but you need certain requirements to monetize your video. I think it's 4,000 hours of watch time and you need to have at least a thousand subscribers. And I passed the thousand subscribers part, but like I didn't have the watch time and you need it within a year. I was not at that requirement and I had like one month left. So I was like, yeah, I can't monetize my videos this year. But my skincare video blew the frick up and I hit my watch time so then I could monetize my videos. And the crazy thing is I filled out my monetization application and then I submitted it to YouTube and YouTube approved it. Get this, one day before my one year anniversary. Spiraling off of that monetization thing, I went on a shopping spree to celebrate my monetization. Hey guys, so I'm at the mall right now and I just got some poke. I spent $11.70. How much wow. did you spend? $12.06. We're feasting today because I can monetize my videos now, so. <laughs> only making like a few cents off my videos but I did get a few things I am very excited about them and yeah this is kind of like a collective spring haul because some of them I did get on a shopping spree but then the other things I kind of just got at random times but I never showed them so I'm just gonna get started so the first thing that I got is this tank top I really 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 like it I got it from garage it just goes with so many things it's cropped I'm literally considering going to garage and buying this in a bunch of different colors because I freaking love it so much that's all I got from garage and then next I'm gonna move on to Hollister I know Hollister used to be really popular when I was younger but I feel like the hype around Hollister kind of died down and I don't know why because their clothing is so freaking cute so the first thing that I got is this little red dress thing this is not the typical dress that I would wear but I decided to try it on and let me tell you I, I fell in love right then and there like I freaking love this dress I don't know where I'm gonna wear it to yet like I feel like this is very fally or like Christmassy but I'm probably gonna wear it in the summer anyway I don't care I feel like if you slapped a pair of Converse on these I feel like that's a look I don't know next next from Hollister I got these ultra high-rise joggers I am not a camo girl. I have never owned anything in camo before, but when I saw these, I was like, you know what? I'll give it a try. And I actually really, really like them. These were $20. I feel like it's pretty good. And I could see myself wearing these a lot later on. So yeah, that's all I got from Hollister. And then now I'm gonna move on to Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh my God, this is inside out. This is off to a great start. Abercrombie and Fitch is another one of those brands that I feel like were really popular before and they kind of died out. I kind of forgot about them. And then one day I was on Instagram and I got an ad that was showing this shirt and I thought it was so freaking cute. And I clicked on it and the shirt was on sale and I was so freaking excited. It's such nice material and it has like a really nice neckline and it has the same thing on the sleeves. And I feel like if you wore this with with a cute dress on top. It's over, it's over for everyone. The next store that I went to was American Eagle and I got this white shirt that's kind of tied off at the bottom. This shirt 
is a little bit big on me, I'm not gonna lie. I wish I'd gotten the extra small size instead, but I feel like this is perfect for the summertime. Like if you went to the beach in this, I just thought it was like the cutest thing ever. And then I went to Brandy Melville, which is like the store that I've sold my soul to. It's fine. I didn't get a lot of stuff this time just because I kind of had a budget and I needed to stick to the budget, you know? The first thing that I got is this blue shirt and like, I'm sorry, but is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? I've never seen the shirt before. I didn't see it when I was walking around the store at first either. And then as I was in the fitting room, like I got out and like there was like a little rack over there. And then this was just hanging on it. And it just, it was so freaking cute. And it has little flowers on it. I love this shirt so much. It's cropped. It's so summery. Like I don't know what more I could ask from a shirt. Next. I got this really cute black crop top and it's off the shoulder. They had this in white too and I kind of wanted to get it but like I, I had to hold myself back a little bit. I just love how this fits and it's just so comfortable. The material is so nice. I freaking love you Brandy Melville. I sold my soul to you for a reason, you know? And then I got these really cute earrings. I can't show this to you guys on because I haven't really figured out how to put them on yet but once I figure them out, it's over for everyone. And then I got this little ring. And when I saw this there, I almost started crying like right there. I've been looking for a silver ring like this for such a long time, but they're always so expensive and they don't really fit my finger right. I don't know, this is kind of big on me too, but it's not too bad. And then I got this wallet. When I go out with my friends, I need a wallet that's like compact and organized. And look at this, it has slots for cash and then it has a little thing for coins so i gave them my money again and then on my way there i saw this guy selling sunglasses you know i just i had to cop i am not disappointed with my purchase whatsoever i got these as a joke but i might just finish the video in these and then i ordered some stuff from shein i got this striped crop top i don't really know if i like this or not i kind of got these because i wanted to wear them under my shirts I'm so sorry. Never thought that I would participate in the trend, but here I am today. The material is kind of weird though. I'm not gonna lie. It's like textured, but it's soft. Does that make sense? I feel like that doesn't make sense. And then the last thing I got from Shein was this belt. Um, this was super cheap. I think it was like four or five dollars. Randy Melville sells a belt that looks just like this, but it was out of stock when I wanted to order it. So I ended up getting this instead and I dig it. I love it. It's a lock. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, then smash that like button, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Thank you for watching my videos and allowing me to reach my goals and monetizing my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and 